Underway in Alabama. A touchback and no return. We'll see versions of the air raid for this Middle Tennessee Blue Raider offense. Four man rush. Turner chases him out of the pocket and they'll just throw that one away. And so third and seven now for Jalen Milrow. Pressure coming again. Milrow goes to the out route. That's caught for a first down by Bond. And the Alabama drive stays alive. A little extra at the end from Bond. And on second and six, they'll do it again. Behind a huge offensive line. And a hole made to the outside by McClellan. Who finally gets wrestled out after a pickup of 20 by Trey Fluellen. They set it downs again for Alabama. Bad snap. Milrow scoops it up. And he's trying to make something out of nothing. They'll add lib for the quarterback in his second start. And he is in. Touchdown, Alabama. He may be the most explosive player on this roster, and he just showed why. Probably the best athlete on the field. Takes a ground ball and says, you know what? I'm going to call my own number here and just run around everybody. Last quarterback I saw do things like that going into that end zone. They made a Netflix documentary out of him. And Kool-Aid McKinstry on to receive this one. Not a good one. It takes a middle hop and McKinstry gets it off that short hop. And he's got the sideline and into Middle Tennessee territory. This is where Alabama's going to go. You know what? We got bigger dudes than you up front. <laughs> do they ever? What a Williams. And a first down, pardon me, Milrow on the keeper. Why the play is called, who you're trying to affect, you can get your guy, excuse me, get your eyes on the right guy. And reach for and caught, and a little shake by Kobe Prentice. And he's not out there eating Rodney Scott's, but out to lunch, yeah, that's how you would describe it. Uh, third and goal, bounce to the outside, and McClellan splashes in. Alabama with another third down conversion on their second possession of the night. Shooting the gaps here, being strong up front, and just great vision by Jace McClellan. Sticks his head down there, nothing there, keeps his feet alive. Five-man rush, and it's a quarterback draw, and plenty of room for Vadiato. And he'll take it all the way into Bama territory with a scramble of 30 yards. Quick to the outside, got a block and a first down for the Blue Raiders. That's D.J. England Chisholm. Vadiato pressured, and all he can do is throw it away. And it never had it. Taking that next step yet, but... Pressure coming, and Milrow can't escape. Brought two extras, and Parker Hughes comes up with the sack. Now first to ten, hit as he throws, and intercepted! Jalen Key with the pick for Alabama. Only seven picks last year for this Crimson Tide defense. A fewest in Nick Saban's tenure. As well as mix some stuff in for Jalen Milrow. And here's some of that. Milrow takes off and he's in for his second rushing touchdown of the night. 13 yard run. And Amari Nyblak, the tight end, made it possible. A few recruiting cycles. Now all of a sudden, the physicality, you can push around a defense like that. And that's how Alabama's built. Deontay Lawson with the sack. It's a loss of 12 against Tennessee. Milrow has all day. Now he's going to unload Z. Got a man! Touchdown! Isaiah Bond in Alabama. Here's what I love about this play. Isaiah Bond's going to attack and go deep, and Jalen Milrow has to worry about that safety. As soon as he gets the snap, he checks the safety to make sure he stays low. Looks left, stays low, gets his eyes on Isaiah Bond. This is what I love. He doesn't throw it on a line. He throws it across the field. Allow your fast receiver to run away from the defender. At times, Milrow, because his arm is so strong, he has a tendency to put it on a line and throw it at guys instead of putting air under it. Getting a good look on third and ten. Milrow, a little bit of pressure, and then he takes off running. They had a spy on him. He got put on his back, and Milrow takes it to midfield. 
you said that Miller had big runs every scrimmage they played. Milrow going deep again. And caught. Touchdown, Jermaine Burton. 48 yards. Fifth touchdown in the last five games dating to last season for Burton, the Georgia transfer who. That one drove McKinstry back inside the 30. Steps through the first. Steps through the next two. Here goes Kool-Aid McKinstry. And he finally gets tripped up at the 35-yard line. Let's hope they just spat that up and he's okay. Uh, lob on second and five. It's caught. Touchdown Alabama. Amari Nyblack. 29-yard touchdown pass from Milrow. His third of the night. Well, he is labeled a matchup problem, and that's what he was on that last play. That wasn't black and white when you saw it. Second and 11. Here's Middlebrook, and he's got a first down and into Bama territory. 14 or 15, and he said, what I love about it is everybody has a job, and if you get to a situation... Great recollection of, because Mark Barron decided to hit me as hard as humanly possible, and... I proceeded to not really remember what I had for breakfast. <laughs> and they just get it off for the slant and into the end zone. And Middle spoils the shutout with a seven yard touchdown pass to Bryce Bailey. Second and eight. Tyler Buckner, quarterback, dropped the snap, recovered a fire, and that's good for a first down. Well, when I went back and watched Bishop School in San Diego, he was injured most of his sophomore year, so he barely played. What a catch made by Jermaine Burton. It's Robbie Oots behind Dupree, and they create a lot of space on the left side for Justice Haynes. And he does his own work at the tail end. Also kind of love they did a curtain call for the starting offensive line there. You see that? Buckner to the outside and to the end zone. Nine-yard touchdown run for the Notre Dame transfer. Had two rushing touchdowns in the Gator Bowl last year. Notre Dame beat South Carolina. I mean, he's not he's not Jalen Milrow, but he's got plenty of athleticism. And it's taken away. Just flat ripped away by Alabama after the completion. Wow, what a play by Blackshaw. He hands it off on first down to pick up a first down. And Simpson will pull it, keep it himself, and he's able to pick up a first down. They got tackled around the neck. Simpson trying to sneak it, and they move the entire pile into the end zone. Middle must have had 10 guys within five yards of the ball 